Hi guys, I'm in this beautiful location so I thought I'd just come here and make a few videos. So what I want to talk about is this idea of personal empowerment. So as a counsellor, one of the things I work with um, and I find really important is to empower others. Now we can be in the world where there are so many things that are happening that are outside of our control and especially when I'm working with my clients, I look at the situation that they're in I help and encourage them to identify that even though they're in a certain place right now, it doesn't mean that they're going to continue to remain stuck in that place. And also, if you feel as though there is no chance of anything getting better for you, you know, if you're a drug addict or you are um, addicted to alcohol or if you are in an abusive relationship or no matter what your situation is, if your belief is that you are never going to um, be able to get out of that situation, that can be extremely disempowering. So the idea is that you form this mindset and also a belief that, that you can empower yourself. And although that is like hard to believe when you are maybe depressed, when you're on the floor, where you know you were just been in this situation for a number of years and the thing's changing, to me it's the key, it's the key part of the work I do. And it's the key part of change in life and getting further in life. So all I want to do in this quick video is give you five ways that you can become personally empowered so the first thing is for you to make a decision that you are going to pros prosper despite any external factors so we all know that there are lots of things happening in the world at the moment that are having a negative impact on people I'd say that lots of things that are happening are having an impact on people's mental health you've seen a higher level of um, depression suicide you've seen a lot more violence um, there's so many things that are occurring but if you were to focus on those external things, you know, just because this is all happening in London where there's lots of gang violence, because this is happening, there's more homelessness, the economy is bad. Is that empowering for you as a person? My answer would be no, it's not. And I'm not saying to people to ignore the negative things that are occurring in the world. What I'm saying is that in order to empower yourself, which then leads to you empowering others, it's about making a decision that you are going to prosper. Yeah, the economy isn't, you know, that places are um, you know, only giving people minimum wage or um, education is going up or this is happening or this is happening. You have, people will always try to tell you what you can't do or they will tell you the negative things that mean you, you know, no, you can't go to university because the fees are too high. Um, no, you can't go to London or to this particular country because there's violence there. You have to be personally empowered so that you can say, despite everything that's going on I'm going to prosper I'm gonna empower myself so that I can empower others because it's so important for you to do that and to not ignore the external factors but not to focus on them the second thing is a major thing which I could do a whole video on on itself and that's about motivating yourself do you know how empowering it is to get up and motivate yourself you know when I do the affirmations when I'm doing my meditation when I'm just um, buzzing you know, you need to listen to the Lynn Grabhorn, um, excuse me, your life is waiting. Listen to the audio book, read that book. You can watch my videos on here that I've made about that. She talks about trying to live a life where you were buzzing constantly. Everything's exciting, you know, you feel passion. She said that majority of people live their lives flatlining. So they're not depressed, but they're not happy. They're just in between, they're just literally just living. She wants people to get to the point where you can be buzzing, where every, you're like a little child, you know, you, you're looking at everything, you're excited about everything, you're passionate, you know, you give your views, you, um, you don't, you're not one of these people that says, I don't know about anything, you've got strong opinions. So to motivate myself, that's why I, you know, I'll do exercise, I'll do my affirmations, I'll set myself challenges, because that's what life is about. That will then empower me to say, do you know what, despite everything that's going on in the world, and despite my circumstances, I'm still going to motivate myself today. I'm still going to get that buzz today. I'm going to find that passion. The third thing is about seeing the bigger picture. When you're struggling or you're in a negative situation, you, the tendency is to just remain where you are and then to just have negative feelings based on where you are. Now that will never be able to lift you out of that place. If a homeless person was to say, I've um, got no money this morning, um, so I'm not going to get any food today, I'm not going to get any money from anyone today, I'm just going to lie here and this is going to be the worst day ever. 
and then they were to continue to do that every day. How are they going to feel? They're going to end up being another person that decides to end their life or to just become depressed. What you need to do is to get to a point where you're saying, this is where I am now, but you know what? I'm going to visualize my better future. It's not just about visualizing it. You have to take action. But the point is, let me ask you a question. What will make you feel better? Being in a negative situation and then think it focusing on that I'm in a negative place and I'm never going to get better or move forward or this is where I am today but I'm guaranteed or I'm determined to get somewhere else tomorrow just the thought of movement um, generates something within you that says do you know what I'm gonna get, I'm gonna beat this whatever this situation is I'm gonna get better and that's what personal empowerment is it's saying despite all these things that are happening around me I'm going to take control and ownership of what's going on and I'm gonna make it better the fourth thing is for you to work hard and focus on what's going on and do not get distracted there are so many distractions in the world you know there are um, the media trying to distract us there are pop stars and celebrities trying to distract us and um, all the distractions are doing is trying to remove you from empowering yourself they're trying to remove you from taking ownership of your life they're saying look go to this concert and you'll feel brilliant so you know spend 50 pounds on a ticket to go and see Beyonce then you don't have to like think about the money that you don't have you know all these um, loan companies with these loan adverts are trying to say take out a loan and then you can buy this fantastic car then you can feel brilliant they're not saying that that's just going to increase your debts when you're not in a financial position so finally because it's starting to rain now is working out what do you think is the healthiest and the most helpful way for you to think is it for you to get um, feel disempowered is it healthy and is it um, fun or is it positive for you to say do you know what all these killings that are happening in the world and all of this violence and um, all of this having no money and all of this bad stuff is that gonna empower you or is that gonna disempower you you know I'm not telling people to be blind to what's happening but what I'm saying to do is to figure out what is the most healthiest way of me empowering myself you know and, and make that your focus make that your um, commitments make a commitment to yourself so that you can empower others if you watch the the video I did I did this same video on my as a live video on my Facebook page I was talking about how if you're say a single mother or if you are in a position of power or you're a mentor or you're just a person that influences even on your YouTube if you can empower yourself you can then have, be in a position to empower others instead of sitting there and saying all of this violence that's going on in London amongst the gangs or all of these things that are happening I'm gonna just avoid that area or I'm just gonna blame those boys or I'm gonna do this how about saying well if I um, empower myself by becoming a mentor or what if I go out into the streets and talk to these young people about what's causing um, this issue to happen you're going to empower them and yourself because you're going to think I'm taking action I'm doing something but sitting at home and like stressing or worrying or getting more and more upset or miserable about hundreds of things that are happening in the world is not empowering it's not empowering to the world and it's not empowering to you because you, what are you doing about it Either make a decision to take some action or make a decision to empower yourself and focus on the things you can control. That's just my saying to you. So I hope you found this video useful. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe. Any of my videos on here, I'm really happy to accept any comments on there, even if you don't agree with what I'm saying, even if you have strong opinions, I still welcome all feedback. I'll reply to everyone that comments. Thank you to all my subscribers, I really appreciate it and I'll see you all again on another video. Have a fantastic afternoon, bye.